Well, Jacko, we saw you have a, a bit of a chat with Nixie towards the back end of training, mate. Can you just share with us a little few bits and pieces of what he said to you? Oh, that's just um, was more about a bit of the, the game on the weekend, and we spoke about a couple of things there. Um, obviously, it's it's really good getting into that that game side of things now. So you have these little chats with the coaches about you know little things you're doing well and, and things that um, they might want to see a bit more of. So it's always good getting that feedback. Having down in obviously, it was uh, must be great for you to complete the move back and now you've got a couple of months under it. What's it like yeah. for you? Oh yeah, Nicky's great. Um, I think one of his main strengths is his relationship building with all the boys. So, you know, he's really good, and I think he does that with everyone. Um, at some point, he lets you know um, where you're at and, and, and sort of what you need to be doing. And um, the other thing is just footy smarts. He's he's really impressive in that area. So, um, I've loved working with him so far. Midfield was uh, like a number of young group. Yeah. Who do you see? You competing with for a spot for round one. Obviously, you got Harry came along last year. And yeah. There are a few young guys in that mix too. Who do you think yeah. I think it's a strong midfield, you know, as a whole. I think we got obviously Sloaney and, and Crouchy and Laddie in there, three, you know, old Australians. And um, there are those young boys coming through. So I think whenever there's competition for spots, it's, it's healthy for the list. Um, so, you know, we're, we're all going to keep, keep pushing and, and keep getting better each week and, and helping each other along. But I think it's, it's nothing but good for the club to have that healthy competition. What was the message that Nixie had for you about your game on the weekend? You were here against, you know, Stan, Lanny, Crouchy, Sloaney, and, yeah. and Robin kind of, it looked like you had the first choice of midfield out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he was pretty happy with, with the young boys and, you know, I was just saying um, it was some good fight um, that he saw from us. and. Um, you know, that, they've obviously got, got a lot of experience in there and so uh, we're constantly learning off them. But I think, you know, compared to where we've come from over the last couple of weeks, it was, it was really positive. What did you say you did well and what do you need to work on? Um, I think he was really happy with, with my inside stuff, uh, my work rate. Um, he was pretty happy with, you know, some of the, the contests around the ball from our, our young group um, against those older guys. And, and for me, just one of those RFIs was, was just driving my legs and then, um, and then kicking long. Um, so that was something we spoke about, just, just getting that, um, that leg drive going and then just slowing up a touch before I kicked. So where do you see yourself playing this season? I've been doing all my work inside um, as an inside midfielder, so that's that's definitely um, the spot that, that I want to play. And um, you know, the good thing is we've got these these older guys like Sloney and, and Crouchy and Laddie that you know I'm, I'm learning heaps from them, um, and I'm, I'm definitely getting better each week learning off those guys. So um, I'm, I'm definitely focusing on on keeping that going and, and keeping getting better. Yeah, so what were the things that you, you noticed? The differences you noticed from coming from GWS to here? Oh, the main thing is, a few people have asked me that. I was really impressed with how hard the, the group works. Um, it's, it's such a young group, and I think sometimes you can get the young boys, and um, you know it takes them a little bit longer to, to get that work ethic, and that's what the older guys sort of try and teach. But you know, coming here, it was like everyone had that straight away, and you know I've, I've just come in and straight to a really hard-working group that, that really wants to get better, and it's really driven by those young boys and. You know, the guys like Sloaney and, and the leaders in Nixie and, and everyone else have, have really driven that and now and now the young group's really owning it. So that was a, a big thing and great to see. Who drove that at GWS for you? Obviously Steve as the captain. Yeah, I think it's it's the same. Like the leaders always always drive the standards. So you know they had some, some good leaders up there in Steve and, and Phil and Wardy and um, it's it's not to say that they they weren't like that because they they're a hard hard working group too. Um, but I was definitely impressed with, with the young boys taking ownership here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, obviously, when you're up there for a couple of years, you make some some pretty strong um, relationships. And um, you know, my housemate was Sam Taylor up there, and, and Bobby Hill my first year, so keeping pretty good contact with those guys. And um, a couple of the older boys, like you know, Matty DeBoren and Josh Kelly, you, you keep in contact with. So you know, when you're up there for a little bit, you definitely stay in contact with those guys. Like that the Not too much. It's it's more um, probably more off field stuff to be honest. Um, you know, we don't talk too much footy, it's a bit you know, how's the body feeling and stuff, but that's you know, probably more just general catch ups. Who surprised you here, Jacko? When you saw the person for the first time, there's someone you saw was a lot bigger or a lot stronger. Was there someone that when you first saw them for the first time that got you? Big um big Ryo O'Brien's pretty big. He's he's a big fella and he's strong too, like he looks big and then he gets even bigger in the gym, so He's pretty impressive, and, and Jake Kelly's another one who, 
they call him Bull, and he, he is a bull. He's, he's pretty strong, so they're a couple that impressed me. Yeah. Playing for Albert and Saturday. Yeah. What are the expectations there from you and from the side? Oh, I think we're we're looking to just keep building. Um, you know, personally and as a team, that's that's what we want to do. We want to we want to keep getting better and, and keep building. And um, Porter, obviously, a really strong outfit. So anytime you can challenge yourself against um, you know some good players, it's it's a positive. So I think we're yeah we're really looking forward to it as a group. Have you been told, I guess, to be there for an eight o'clock kick hard start or an eleven o'clock start? And so, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I think we'll have those chats as the week goes on, but um, you know, I'll let Nixie and, and the coaches work that out. And um, yeah, wherever I am, I'll be you know, giving a good crack. It sounds like you're playing court the following week as well. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's been confirmed, but possibly soon. Is there any um, danger of playing them back to back, or you prefer to have a kid out against another team? How do you feel about that? Um, I, yeah, I haven't actually heard that, um, to be honest. I've, I heard that you know we could um, still be playing Frio, and I don't think that's been officially changed yet. So um, you know we're, we're looking forward to playing them this week, and um, you know whatever happens, whoever we play the week after, um, it'll be the same thing. We'll, we'll be looking to get better and, and improve on the week before. Would you prefer to play a different side, or is it uh, the same team? Is it? Um, oh, I, I don't. I don't think we can control it, um, which is you know one of those things. Uh, during the COVID, you can't control everything, um, and so whoever that, whoever we we play. Um, you know, I think we want to work on our internal stuff more than you know what the opposition gives us. So, you know, whoever we play, we'll be we'll be happy with a good opposition and um, yeah, look to improve from the inside. Really important, helping least out there. One guy that was participating most of the training was Brad Cook. The coaches mm. seem to love him and say, you know, he's a real raw talent. What have you seen from him so far? Yeah, he is, he's really impressive on the track. He's I think he's coming back from a shoulder and um, he's progressing really well there. So. We've definitely seen glimpses from Cookie on the track and he looks pretty exciting. So I think everyone's yeah, keen to see him get to work. Yeah. Uh, I think it's something that will keep building. You obviously, you hear about it from the outside um, and you know, watching it on games, on TV growing up, it probably is the fiercest uh, rivalry. The showdown was you know, the game that you want to be involved in and that's the game that everyone turns to watch. So um, I'm definitely excited to, to keep, keep that building and, and, and see that history and, and then be a part of it in the future. Players always want to know where they fit, Jacko. Like going into this weekend, you sort mm. of just penciling a team that you'd like to see and juggle the magnets a bit and squeeze yourself in the side from over round one. Oh, man, I'll, I'll leave it up to Nick and the coaches. I'm going to... I'm going to keep getting better and, and keep doing my thing and um, you know, good things will happen but yeah, Nixie and the coaches will take care of that. You talked to, when you first moved back to you spoke about the move, could you just describe now that you've been here for a couple of months, there's a huge sense of relief, well, how would you, I mean, obviously in the, in the pre-season draft, how it all sort of unfolded, mm. how, how do you sum it all up for yourself? Oh yeah, I'm super thankful for the, the opportunity the Giants gave me, um, you know, a couple of years ago in, in drafting me and, and playing up there. and. Certainly learn a lot, and then you know the trade period into the into the, the preseason draft was was something that um, you know went for a little bit longer than I probably thought it might. But you know the whole time I was I was confident that I'd get here, and um, yeah, I'm pumped to be back home. So I'm, I'm loving it.